Bruce Aiden, Mr. Brox here, coming to you with a uh, three-year update slash two years and ten months, because I believe we got this in July of 2016, maybe 2015, no, it would have been 2016. It was right before they did the transition over to the 2018, or 2017s. This is our 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. 1LT RS. This car has given us so many issues, yet, oddly, this is the one car that I'm actually going to be kind of upset to see go. Because while it's had its issues, it's been a fairly dependable car. The issues it has had to do with it being hit by light lightning back in 2017, 28, I can't remember, it was either 2017 or 2018, but it threw the whole electrical system out of whack, so of course it's going to have issues, but after they had it, got it fixed, it continued to have unnecessary issues. Where's my buzzing? Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I, that's not going to work. Whoops. Let's go ahead and hop into it and start it up. It's got the smart key access system, meaning you have to put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start it. Oh, radio's already muted. Perfect. It's like it already knew I was recording. There's the tracks. So that'll be getting a video of its own here soon. I think the battery in it's actually dead because it hasn't been driven in over a week. Well, I tried to unlock it earlier and it was not having it. So, yeah. It's a really nice car inside. It's really well loaded for what it is. Like for 1LT, it's not even the top tier model. It's real. It's pretty well loaded. How am I gonna do this? Not easily. Hmm. Let's see. No, nope, don't want to cover up the lens. Raise that up. Cover up the lens. Is that working? Yep. Are you still recording? You sure are. It's nice though because it has the uh, backup cameras. It's got the uh, blind spot indicators. It's got uh, what else does it has? It has Bluetooth audio, heated seats, uh, OnStar, which has never been used. Uh, but it has it, so if the need arises, you can use it. It's got Android Auto, uh, Apple CarPlay. I just back that up. No, I think I got it. Actually, since we're here, I can actually hook this up. My iPhone never got plugged in last night, so it's not too thrilled. It's, it's one of those creature comforts where you can live without it, but having it just makes it that much nicer. And I just got blinded by the light. Eh, get it? It's a song. What did it eat? But AC blows nice and cold. Heat never gets used. The windshield is filthy, but that's because at work I actually park under a tree. So you can wash it on uh, Friday, and by, or not, wash it on Saturday, and by Tuesday it's covered again. Because if you look in our yard, which you might see it when I come around this corner, but if you look in our yard, the oak trees are pretty much gone, or they're not going over the cars anymore. So unless there's seven trees in the back, this should not be an issue. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, my order 
is on its way. I ordered chicken wings for dinner. I'm happy. We've got two more days of work. I get a week off, then I get to go work for the summer. Which, I'm happy about that because that means I've still got a source of income for the summer. This car is ridiculously fun to drive. Let's go ahead and plug that. I wish I could have the uh, radio on mute. That's a great song. But YouTube would be all over that. See the Aveo. I don't know if you guys can because the sun is probably blinding the camera. I almost tried to pull in the yard. Oh, my dad did pull the yard. Did he move the Aveo? Nope. Because there's still grass sticking out under it. <laughs> oh, well, I can be dealt with this weekend. That's like our drive thing. Drive thing? Yeah. This thing has a turbo 1.4 liter. I think it's making 138 horsepower. Right now, for fuel mileage, we are getting 18.5 miles per gallon. That's because it's been a lot more stop and go traffic. I don't usually let the, you know, the, when you hit the brake on a lot of modern cars, it shuts down the engine. I don't usually let that happen. I usually, as soon as it tries to shut off, I go ahead and I, uh, let off the brake just enough that it restarts the car. I'm recording this on the LG G6, by the way, and it looks pretty crispy. But yeah, I'm impressed with the car. It's had its issues, but it's like I keep telling myself, it was a first year production on the car. We've got almost 17,000 miles on it, so it must have been doing something right. Like, that's not high mileage, but that's about average for the cars we ha keep around here. Like the Aveo, somewhere over there, it's behind the palm tree. But that Aveo has just hit 21,000 miles. And when you think about it, when I did my uh, yearly update on the Aveo, which I might not do this year, seeing as nothing's really happened with it, it I think it... it was still at 21,000. It's still within a thousand miles of when that was recorded. I had contemplated selling it, but it's still got, it's like, I don't know. It's one of those things where I'd like to keep it because it's something that is mine. Where this is a lease, this is not mine. But I don't know. It, it, it could change this year, it could change next year. Who knows? No one. Um, all right. Well, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the car, like, just leave me a comment down below if you've seen this video anywhere. Um, other than that, if you liked this video, hit that like button. Comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, those go down there. It's somewhere down there. Uh, subscribe for more videos because I do upload at least a few times a year. I don't know. I, I've been uploading a little more frequently, like once every week or two, which isn't terrible. I've actually got a video pending that I'm trying to decide if I want to upload it because it's kind of eh. I don't like how it really turned out. I might re-record it. It's actually on the Aveo, but I don't know. But yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!